Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to do some quick revision about Foundation Engineering. So the Geotechnical Engineering, Foundation Engineering is on part, is very important for the any competitive examinations. So the formulas, a lot of formulas are there and a lot of uh, derivations are there. So first thing is uh, type of footings. So there is uh, shallow foundation and deep foundation are there. So two type of footing, shallow and deep. Okay, in shallow foundation, there are isolated footings. So that is isolated spread footings, then combined footing, then mat foundation. Okay, so from that, the based on the shape, so we can classify into circular, then rectangle then square. So the combined footing, there are two type of uh, combined footing, one is uh, rectangle, rectangle combined footing, another one is trapezoidal combined footing. Okay, so whenever uh, the two columns are same size, uh, we go for rectangle combined footing. So the column size are uh, different, so we can go for trapezoidal combined footing. So the mat foundation, so the foundation laid for all the uh, columns, so that is called mat foundation. Okay, so these are all the type of footings. So next thing is net side bearing capacity. So this safe bearing capacity is very important. So the amount of uh, load uh, the soil can withstand. So the capability of soil is called uh, net safe bearing capacity. So now Q net say bearing capacity equal to the formula is net ultimate bearing capacity divided by factor of safety okay so factor of safety yeah okay so the net ultimate bearing capacity q n u equal to q u plus gamma into df okay so q is ultimate bearing capacity and gamma df is the unit weight of soil, so the unit weight of soil into the depth of soil, okay, so the depth of the line. So this is uh, net ultimate bearing capacity, so net safe bearing capacity equal to net ultimate bearing capacity divided by factor of safety, okay, so now Q net equal to Q N U divided by F, okay, so we, we can substitute here Q U plus gamma into D F divided by F, so same Q safe equal to Q U minus gamma into D F divided by F again plus gamma into D F. Okay, so this is the say bearing capacity. So elastic settlement S formula is uh, K into Q into root A into 1 minus mu square divided by E. Okay, so this is the elastic settlement formula ultimate bearing capacity. So for strip footing, so the formula will be C N C plus gamma into D F that is called Q into N Q plus half into gamma into B into N gamma. Okay, so this is a formula. C is coercion. N C N Q N gamma is the Tezagi bearing capacity factor. Uh, gamma is unit weight of soil. D F is depth of uh, foundation. So then again gamma is unit weight of soil and B is width of footing. Okay. So next go for uh, circular footing. So circular footing. So uh, the formula will be 1.3 that is safe factor C N C plus gamma into D F into N Q plus 0 0.3 another safe factor gamma into B into N gamma. Okay. So this is the formula. So again. Uh, the formula for square so square footing 1 point again same 1.3 c n c plus gamma into d f into n q plus 0 0.4 gamma b n gamma okay so this is the formula for square footing so next thing is pile load test so as per is 1 triple 8 19 
92. So we go for a pilot test for a find out the bearing capacity of soil. Now the formula will be S F the settlement of foundation, then S P the settlement of footing equal to B F into B P plus 0.3 divided by B P into B F plus 0.3 the whole square. Okay. So this is for sandy soil. Okay, so S F is a uh, settlement of foundation, S P settlement of plate, then B F is uh, width of footing, B F is width of plate, and uh, this is for sandy soil. Okay, so if case Q U F divided by Q U P equal to B F divided by B P, this is for sand. Okay, so this is ultimate uh, bearing capacity of foundation. Then ultimate bearing capacity of plate here uh, with the footing and here with the plate. Next thing is standard penetration test SPT. Okay, so the SPT uh, test is uh, mainly used for find out the soil bearing capacity of soil using standard penetration number. So the penetration, so the number of blows required to uh, penetrate 30 centimeter. of soil okay so first 15 cm for seating capacity then uh, another 15 cm plus 15 cm so the number of blows required to penetrate the uh, sampler into the soil okay so the number of blows uh, we can take after that we can uh, find out the spd okay using a uh, lot of formulas are there tezagi formulas are there and uh, uh, western god analysis are there Taylor analysis are there, so we can uh, go for any method and uh, calculate the SPT value. Okay, so now uh, the so now there are two corrections in uh, SPT. So that is one is uh, overburden pressure. So overburden pressure n t corrected uh, n value equal to n observed value into three fifty divided by Sigma bar plus seventy. Okay, so next thing is dilatancy correction. So dilatancy correction. So n corrected value equal to n equal to fifteen plus one divided by two into n observed value minus fifteen. Okay, so this overburden is uh, due to the heavy load and uh, dilatancy is uh, the sampler is not vertically uh, is ninety degree. Uh, we can't uh, hold the sampler as 90 degree, so so we penetrate some uh, angles, so we can go for uh, this dilatancy correction. Okay, so in deep foundation there are two, uh, three to four types are there. One is pile foundation, so second one is well foundation, well or caisson foundation. So second one is well foundation, third one is caisson foundation. Okay, so next thing is ultimate bearing capacity of pile load taken uh, by the base of skin friction. So then Q U P equal to Q E B plus Q into S F. Okay, so now Q U P equal to Q B into A B plus F S into A S. So here is the area of pile in the throughout the depth, and uh, this is the area of pile at the tip. Okay, so now ultimate bearing capacity using engineering news formula. So engineering use formula Q U P equal to W into H divided by six into S plus C. So next thing is sampling techniques. So in the sampling techniques, there are two types of sample. One is uh, disturbed sample, another one is undisturbed sample. Disturbed sample, another one is undisturbed sample. Okay. So the whenever uh, So whenever we collect the samples, the soil structure may be disturbed. That is called disturbed sample. So the without uh, disturbing the soil structure, we can take the sample. That is called undisturbed samples. So uh, we go for uh, insect clearance. So this insect clearance and outside clearance. So this insect clearance and outside clearance is based on the sampler. So the Uh, the equipment used for collecting the soil sample is called sampler. So from that insect clearance, C I equal to D three minus D one divided by D one into 
hundred percentage. Okay, so see outside clearance D two minus D four divided by D four into hundred percentage. Okay. So D3 is outer diameter of the sample tube and D1 is inner diameter of the sample tube. Then uh, D2 is uh, outer diameter of the cutting edge and D4 is outer, inner diameter of the cutting edge. Okay. So then area ratio. So the area ratio is uh, D2 square minus D1 square divided by D1 square into. 100 okay so this is the area ratio so whenever the area ratio is greater than 10 percentage that is called disturbed sample then area ratio is less than 10 percentage that is called undisturbed sample okay so these are all the some uh, quick revision in the foundation engineering so again you will see in next video thank you